Welcome to the Soap Thing Project. This is the third and final video in a three-part series called 30 Years of Disposable Razors. In this video, I am going to do a shave with the Bic Twin Select Razor. I'm going to do a shave with it, and we're going to talk about it coming up next. <laughs> Right then, let's do a quick recap. The first shave in this series featured the Schick Disposable Razor made in the 1980s. That was followed up with a Gillette Good News that was made in the 1990s. Today, we are doing the early 2000s. This is where the Bic Twin Select comes in. Let's go ahead and read from the packaging. It says, 2002, Bic USA, Milford, Connecticut, made in Greece, which is interesting. And once again, I am really dreading tearing this blister pack apart because this is a great example of some shaving history. It might not have been that long ago, but it still uh, is something that you hate to tear apart. But for the sake of entertainment, that's what I'm going to have to do. It's interesting to note that the Schick Disposable Razor from the first video had neither a lubricating strip nor a pivoting head. The Gillette Good News did. And now we're going backwards. We're going back to a razor that neither pivots nor lubricates, for whatever that's worth. So that's the razor, the Bic Twin Select. The bar of soap that I'm using today is going to be Dial White. This is a three pack, so I'm gonna have soap for a while. <laughs> This one says on the packaging, 1999, the Dial Corporation, Scottsdale, Arizona. So this one is just outside of the early 2000s. I got as close as I could. Here is the ingredients for Dial White. Let me see what this has in it. It does have tallow. So we are back to a tallow base uh, bar of soap. So this should be interesting. That's the bar of soap that's going to be used today, Dial White from 1999. The aftershave is actually quite fascinating. It's Nivea for men, but not just any Nivea for men. This is fresh cooling balm from the early 2000s. There's no date on this, but advertising from that era places it at somewhere in the early 2000s. And so the age of this bottle is in the neighborhood of 20 years old. Yes, this is a 20 year old bottle of aftershave balm from Nivea for Men. I have no idea if this is even safe to use, but I'm gonna give it a try. And the scent on it is just wonderful. It's, it's amazing that some scents are just lost to time. It really is, because I have not smelled anything like this in a while. Even the Nivea for men we have now does not smell like this. It's just this brisk, fresh, sort of dated, late 90s, early 2000s kind of smell. It's really wonderful. Yeah, it's amazing. Great stuff. And we do have a milk glass bottle. So these bottles were glass even back then. That should not be surprising. But yeah, I got this on eBay. So Nivea for Men Aftershave Balm Fresh Cooling for the aftershave. I'm really excited to give this a try. All right, let's do the shave. Well, here it is. This is the Bic Twin Select Razor. This razor is by far the lowest quality feeling of the three razors in the series. It uh, really does feel cheap. It's hollowed out in the middle, and I know for a fact that I could squeeze this and probably flatten it out if I tried hard enough. The plastic does not seem that high of quality. I get that it's a disposable razor, but after just coming off of a Schick from the 80s, and then a Gillette from the 90s, both of which felt 
quite high quality, even for a disposable razor. This thing really does feel cheap. Um, let me take the cover off. And that went flying. Uh, this does have some residue on the blade. I'm not sure if you can see that. So hopefully that doesn't affect the shaving too much. Not sure if you can see that residue on there. But we'll do the best we can to make it work. So there is the razor. There's nothing to it. It, uh, yeah. It doesn't rattle or move that much. You can't, like, bend it and, like, I suppose you could if you tried hard enough, but it's not, uh, it doesn't have any rattles in, and it, it's pretty solid. I'm just going to leave it there. I'm trying to think of the words that, that I'd like to say, but it's pretty solid and it's not too bad, but definitely does feel cheap. Okay, here is the Dial White from 1999. Got a razor from 2002 and a bar of soap from 1999. And an aftershave that is somewhere in the same place. Here is the Dial White. Has some kind of uh, identification marker. Not sure if you can see that. I'm just going to go ahead and open it from the side like every other bar of soap I've done so far. Interesting. So, here's the bar. Dial antibacterial. It smells substantially similar to Dial Gold, but fresher is what it smells like. It smells uh, soapy clean. It's like it smells like Dial Gold have a had a baby with ivory soap. That's what it smells like. Yeah, interesting. Okay, uh, time for some hot water. Been using hot water and all the other bars of soap, so we're gonna do the same on this one. There we go. That is plenty hot enough. All right, let's wet the face. Got just over a day and a half of growth, somewhere north of uh, 36 hours. And let's take the bar of Dial White and rub it into the face. Scent strength on the Dial White is low. I'm gonna say two out of five on the Sniffometer. that off, set it down, and let's get some hot water and try to rub this in a little bit. There we go. Now we're getting something out of it. It does seem to be a little bit thicker than the uh, Zest or the Olay. Uh, but then the packaging does say richer lather, so for whatever that's worth. Okay, Bic Twin Select Razor. Here we go. I am not confident about this. We'll see what happens. And it's perfectly fine. It uh, it shaves a lot like the, uh, the the Schick razor did. It is sharper and less blade feely, less blade forward than the uh, the Gillette Good News, but that's to be expected. All right, down here. Oddly enough, I would say this one is the most comfortable <laughs> of the razors. That is very interesting. Okay, 
Let's do a second pass. Rinse off this hot water. Oh, hot. Oh. Okay. Oh, I used a little too much water. Oh no, that should be fine. There we go. The stuff does not taste good, so don't eat it. Uh, okay. Second pass with the Bic Twin Select Razor from 2002. There's not much to this one. It's just an easy, smooth shave. I'm kind of left wondering which one would last the longest. That might have to be the subject of another video. Get a little more water to reactivate that soap. Oh, I nicked myself right there. That's unfortunate. I think I had a bump there though, because everywhere else seems to be fine. Another rinse. Ugh. This was a slick, comfortable shave. I'm not sure what happened there. Looking at it, it does look like there was uh, some kind of a bump there that just was inevitably going to get sliced off pretty much no matter what. Kind of the, uh, the unfortunate part about having imperfect skin is that stuff sticks out and gets hacked off. Okay, in any case, let's do the Nivea for Men Aftershave Balm Fresh Cooling. This is going to be interesting. I can't believe this hasn't dried out in the space of uh, 20 years. That's what it looks like. Looks fairly typical. Ooh, that... Stings a little. It's got denatured alcohol in it, so I shouldn't be surprised. Oh, the smell is just wonderful. Love this stuff. The smell is just great. I can sit there and smell myself all day. Uh, it's amazing how stuff like this uh, seemingly doesn't age. Like... I don't know, it's hard to tell if uh, if this stuff is really actually any good anymore. Like, does this stuff go bad? I don't know. I really don't know. That's a good question. So, the Bic Twin Select and the Bar of Dial White.
Oh my goodness. Looking at it, it looks like I got nicks in a lot of places. Because there's one right there, which is rare and unusual. And then a bunch down here, a couple down here, one up there, one over there. That's bad. I wanted to uh, give this thing uh, positive words, but it looks like with the, uh, the kind of uh, corrosion that's going on with the blade, coupled with me having a, a tendency to have issues with my neck anyway, I think that one's kind of a bad one looking at it because like I rarely get cuts up there that's weird uh, I'm not sure what to blame that on Whew. well unfortunately in the final video of this series this was a fun little series but the big twin select unfortunately I got to give that one a thumbs down you know I'm willing to blame some of this on me but it's not all me there's no way some of that is issues with the razor, which is unfortunate. But that's what these videos are for, to kind of discover uh, what they shave like after so many years. Okay, that's the video for today. Hope everybody enjoyed it. This was a fun little series. I really liked it. Questions, comments, put them in the comment section of the video. Otherwise, until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you, shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching.